we are the I mean I am lucky guy because I am with Gal today after the show it's just done on uh, on Temple on uh, on the Alphas so nice to to meet you Gal I'm very very happy to to be with you my first question is about the show the show was incredible it was amazing uh, I saw you a, a lot of time. Uh, because I like so much your your kind of music, but it, it was very very incredible. Um, how do you prepare yourself to to be so perform uh, to, to perform like that on stage? Um, uh, it, it depends a bit on uh, the situation, of course. Uh, like here in uh, uh, Fest is course the distance of things so uh, I, I usually like to put on the mega uh, the face and everything just to, uh, an hour prior to uh, but today you have to do it. so you you lose a bit of this uh, personal space uh, uh, but then again festivals are always different uh, and, and you don't have the same communication with uh, with, with the monitor guys and everything, so so you kind of just hope for the best. The positive thing with the heat and everything is that you don't need to uh, warm up too much because the temperature is uh, helping the voice. <laughs> so uh, that's, that, that's one of the one of the good things with uh, with summers and uh, raw heat. But uh, in in general, I just try to. Fall into the songs, uh, but when you uh, when uh, when you enter stage, you never know where where you are sound wise. Yeah. Uh, so my focus is usual to uh, I uh, hope I hear what I want to hear. I for me it's important to hear where the guitars, the lead guitars are, and uh, basically the. The drums. I don't need to hear myself or anything else, but it's uh, because I I kind of know where I am. Okay. <laughs> so it's uh, usually the biggest problem monitor guys are doing is that they think that vocals want to hear themselves, and that's not the case for me. It's uh, because it usually disturbs disturbs me. I hope I know what I'm doing. So. But today it was good, and we had a extra extra set set of hands that uh, help helped us out to be uh, running back and forth from the monitor guy and uh, okay. making sure that things were in. So uh, that that was excellent here today. So. You can confirm <laughs> that was excellent. Um, when you have to choose the set list. Uh, for a festival because it's short yeah time. It's, it's way too short and uh, yes. I've I've told my management that I don't I, I don't want to do uh, set lists that are under 50 minutes 50 minutes is the li uh, limit but uh, for some reason uh, both on grass pop and here that it's 45 minutes so I have to shake his uh, beard about when I uh, return home because this is uh, it, 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 it pushes the limits of in case something happens on stage, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the audience pay to uh, to see the bands that are, uh, and and it. I want to have a flow in the set and uh, to kind of push the borders of uh, it, it. So uh, from now on, I will uh, I will never accept forty five minutes again like okay. we did today. But it's. I try to pick out some sort of flow, but I think the audience deserves to have a better progression. And since, since we work on so many different energies, we uh, it's difficult to put together a set list. It's uh, yeah, it's always difficult to play 45 minutes because yes, you want to enter uh, different motions. So uh, uh, hasty, uh, hasty work compared to what it's supposed to be. Music is supposed to be emotion, not stress. Yeah, okay. So. And um, when you have to, to play live, 
do you prefer playing on, on stage in a big festival or do you prefer the small stage in a little club with uh, the proximity of people, uh, mm -hmm. maybe more than uh, we could have in, uh, in a festival like here? Um, personally, I prefer the smaller. Yeah. Uh, like festivals always get you don't get, you don't get the proper contact with um, the people. Yeah, but uh, if, it depends a bit on uh, it's very different settings, so it, uh, it 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 has its qualities, both arenas and uh, uh, because sound wise you can do other things, mm -hmm. you can kind of. Uh, Work way more with delays and things uh, in a in a big area than you can do on a small small stage. So you can, if you have people around you that know how to work with these things, then it. Uh, so both things have uh, have their qualities. But at the moment, I prefer to work in. Uh, yeah. I rather be in the rehearsal studio than on stage. Okay. So I, I really I really didn't feel like going on stage this uh, the whole weekend. So and uh, I, I'm I'm not yeah I'm I'm not I'm not sure if um, I, if I want to uh, do live shows. In, uh, okay. Uh, at the moment I want to work in the studio and I want to uh, I I think the rehearsal location is more important at the moment than the actual stage. So, uh, but then again, yes, next month I might, okay. it might switch. <laughs> yes, but it's necessary, I, I think, yeah. for the promotion maybe and... Uh, yeah, it, sell, it, uh, uh, this, these are festivals that we planned in uh, 20. Yeah, 20. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, so my, my mind is not prepared for uh, uh, for doing uh, live shows at the yeah. moment. I, I, I just hope we deliver a good show, but we are, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not in a state of uh, being open enough to receive uh, an audience. Okay. So uh, hopefully we uh, uh, do a good job anyway, but, uh, but it, it, it doesn't, I don't, I don't share the energy. Uh, okay. So I, I feel, I don't feel comfortable when I'm on stage at the moment. I feel like I'm uh, back home instead. Okay. So. so for us people uh, on the pit, uh, we, can, uh, we, we don't notice that because uh, I find you very sure, very introspective. You uh, you look like the, you know, the people. Yes, it's very impressive, I think. <laughs> right. you. Um, you say you, so you prefer um, composing to be uh, in studio, so... Um, how do you work? Uh, how do you do uh, to inspire you? Uh, I know you live in Bergen, so maybe yes, uh, uh, is the stone is very important for you for for this kind of music and this, and this kind of black metal you play. Uh, I don't think of the genre in general. It's uh, kind of that's something that were a focus back in the days. Uh, I, uh, at the moment, I'm. Yeah, we create we create music. We create emotions. We yeah. uh, I don't I don't think of uh, any form of uh, genre. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I know it's difficult to to explain because it's your yeah, yeah, mind. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, it's it's difficult. Uh, I think yeah. to and uh, I, I, last year I recorded three albums with different uh, expressions. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, I'm working on five albums, also with different expressions. So it's uh, uh, at the moment I, I I love the studio process, okay. and it's uh, to get get things here and just. Uh, uh, so I've I've not prepared enough to enter the stage and uh, share energy. It's uh, at the moment I prefer to kind of be in uh, in uh, my own cave and. Uh, Focus on my uh, my inner, inner. Yes, and you could take your time in order to compose. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's uh, it tours always kind of interrupts the process of uh, of creation. Mm -hmm. So when you go, when you go on tour, it takes a, lo a long time to kind of reposition yourself in yeah. in your own uh, core. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> of course, you share uh, you share energies, and then you uh, you are all the disturbances that you experience as well. So, so uh, for me, the pandemic could easily have lasted ten more years, and I would have been pleased with it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Maybe a question a uh, little personal, but I want to know um, what is your feeling about your evolution, like an artist, like Gal, uh, since the beginning, and now with this uh, kind of with this music, maybe more uh, esoteric. Yeah, I, uh, I've always watched the esoteric, uh, like Trellon, for instance. There's a very esoteric uh, band all, already from the. Uh, early days. Okay. So, uh, but when, because people uh, know me most for for the uh, the Gorgoroth era, eras yeah. and everything, and Gorgoroth is kind of a is set energy, which is uh, narrowed in. Uh, is, is so. It, I always separate the different bands that I do yeah. because they are different art projects in, in okay. many ways. So you speak differently on the different terms. Same with Baldur now. It uh, you know, has nothing to do with what I do to did in uh, Gogot or Trellon uh, or whatever. But it, there's there's bigger links with, between Baldur now and Trellon than, than there okay. are within any of those bands and uh, Gogot. And the same, uh, most of the things I work with now are kind of. Uh, Uh, flowing into the esoteric uh, because that's where I come from. And, okay. Uh, uh, even the lyrics, Gorgoroth uh, wise, were fairly esoteric when it uh, came to what I did. Uh, but I brought with me a lot, lot of works that uh, didn't belong to me. Uh, so, uh, so Gorgoroth were already uh, an energy uh, okay. that I just uh, aimed in on and then just. Uh, worked out from. So. And if I understand, uh, when you stop uh, a project, a musical project, or you stop a band, uh, it's because you want to, to do something else, to do something different? When, when things grow too big, they lose their, uh, they lose their ground. Okay. Uh, Valduna became uh, too big. Gorgoroth became too big, and they they lose their uh, uh, they lose the contact with uh, the original idea. Okay. And uh, then uh, for me, then I need to uh, from uh, my I start to get these uh, uh, almost anxiety attacks, body wise. I start to uh, things uh, things don't feel right for me. And then I, uh, and it, it's a pity because it's things that I really loved and uh, st uh, still love in many ways. But but it's, uh, I don't like when things grow out of its uh, proportion. A tree should grow just to the perfect size and then it will fall down. Okay. So uh, that, uh, I, I need uh, the roots to be in contact with uh, the whole soil. And that's, that's why I, I don't want things to become too big. It loses its uh, will to grow, and also you, you, when you frame frame things, you uh, you also need to uh, kind of expect it to crawl over the frame. Understood. And when you try to force it in into the space, it kind of just strangles itself. Uh, so for me, it's uh, yeah. I uh, luckily I listen to my body, and my body tells me that this is uh, not for you anymore. So, uh, so then I remove myself from it. Even though I love the work that I've done with, uh, and also the people that I've worked with, so but it's uh, yeah, it's uh, only a self-filtered. When you created uh, Gas Wife in uh, 2015, uh, yeah. it was a project on stage with uh, your, your past band uh, with the song, and it yeah, and it became a band. Yes. So, What's the impulse to do that? Um, there's a, a certain uh, personal elements there that uh, I don't want to talk people down in any, uh, any sense, but there were a couple of uh, things that were, uh, okay, this, this collaboration doesn't work, but uh, uh, 
uh, so I, I uh, so I basically just well, already before uh, uh, before we did the last God Seed uh, shows, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, gods were all already planned. And so we, we just uh, followed the suit on uh, on the on, on the uh, agreed concerts and, and shows. But it's a, a again this uh, strangulation when you don't work with people that uh, that that you grow together with you kind of just uh, because someone just wants to grow that direction I want to go that both right directions and uh, it's uh, we need balance uh, we can't uh, and for me with uh, God's food to bring. Uh, me and uh, Lost Kilman uh, had a very good energy together. I, uh, he has the patience to work with me instead of wanting to be, uh, be, be on the top shelf of everything. He uh, understands passion. Passion is the most important thing. Yeah, I think so. It's uh, how many ears or eyes that are watching you doesn't count. If you don't feel it, you don't feel it, and then you should do it. Okay, so I understand. Uh, in Bergen, you have got uh, your gallery, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. where we could find uh, your music and uh, the other things that the other arts you do, uh, paint, uh, etc. Um, how do you manage to, to mix uh, all this? Uh, <laughs> if, if I knew that, <laughs> if I uh, if I knew, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so now it's uh, I I have. Uh, passion for art and uh, I try to keep uh, I try uh, I hardly show my own art uh, there I usually show other artists and I have uh, some artists in my stable that are kind of uh, visual that I'm really really appreciating it's uh, it's another passion yeah yeah and there's uh, there's an honesty to it that's uh, so I'm uh, yeah, uh, of course it was a bit tricky during COVID, but uh, we are expanding now next month. So uh, yeah, uh, of course it takes a lot of time, and I'm there every uh, every day. So uh, so it's a bit switched from where I used to be because I'm a very private person, but I'm still attending the gallery all the time. So it's so to. Uh, I will have to see how uh, we'll do it future-wise, but at the moment it's just me and uh, my better half that's that's uh, running it. I, I'm the physical uh, being, and he's doing all the boring things with, uh, with the me uh, digital media and all, all this, so replying to all the ones asking for something. Or, so uh, yeah, it's just uh, a family business at the moment. Okay. <laughs> It's, uh, and uh, is your art as an influence on your music and your no, music in no, your art? No, it's no, very no. separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, uh, in your mind, it's uh, yeah. I, too, uh, uh, yeah, I want to keep up. Uh, even even though uh, with uh, with Goldsworth, I'm uh, kind of uh, there is a connection, but I still don't. It, it's not a connection that's uh, too uh, entered into it. Okay. So uh, I work different mediums. Uh, so the visual art uh, uh, that I've uh, on the previous release, it was uh, things that I, I did myself. But uh, on Gaste, uh, uh, then uh, then I had an art collaboration with Raina uh, Vaskovska, which is uh, me and her worked the artwork out together. But it's her medium. Okay. So. Uh, uh, so I, uh, I, I'm, I'm there uh, telling what I want and uh, or and doing the things that I want, but uh, but without her uh, uh, professional uh, approach to it, it wouldn't end up like anything. So, so it's uh, so I've kind of mixed things there, but I, I try to avoid it because I, uh, I don't want to be too much. Okay. It's. Uh, Focus one energy on, uh, on things, but you can always have branches out <laughs> so to balance it. Okay. The last question, Gal. Uh, so with Gal's you uh, you compose an album and a mini album. Uh, 
is a new album or mini album is yes. scheduled for the next month or mm -hmm. maybe well, next year? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Uh, the, we have recorded the, the music already. Okay. So uh, at the moment, the, the, uh, I'm waiting for uh, hours in studio to actually uh, start to fulfill it. So uh, it's kind of backed up the okay. studio hours. So I, I might have to jump into uh, a studio to do uh, uh, do small things, but. In, in general, it's uh, in general. Uh, I'm just waiting for open hour studio wise. Okay. To uh, so hopefully, hopefully I'll uh, be able to finish it this year. But uh, it everyone has uh, woken up again after okay. so you uh, studio times and studio hours. I just jump in when it's open open hours and then I. Okay, so, so soon, uh, soon, <laughs> definitely. Cross the finger. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, uh, Egal, and for your time for this interview after the show, because I know it's difficult uh, after uh, this uh, this performance. And uh, well, have a nice summer with the festival, and uh, hope to listen to your next album. Uh, hope you will like it. Okay. <laughs> I sure. Thank you very much. Ha ha ha!